former police chief in Germantown is opening up tonight about being sexually abused by a priest as a young boy. Now he spoke to the I team Sean Gallagher in hopes that his story can encourage others who have been abused to come forward. The first time I experienced it, I was in shock. I didn't know what to do. Retired Germantown police chief Peter Hale is still processing the sexual abuse he faced as a teen. Dirty, disgusted, um, afraid. Growing up in the Sheboygan area, he was an altar boy at Holy Name Parish. After bingo nights, the priest would allow us to go in the back and have a beer for our volunteering. And one beer led to another, to another, to where we were intoxicated. And that, at that point, when we were intoxicated, he would take advantage of us. Hale refuses to say the priest's name today, but he's okay with us identifying him. According to online records, Father William Effinger served as a priest at four different Wisconsin parishes. From 1960 to 1979, he moved from Kenosha to West Allis to Lake Geneva and finally to Sheboygan. Online church records show he faced child sex abuse accusations at three of those churches. And according to Hale's timeline, his abuse started at Holy Name almost immediately upon Effinger's arrival. We'd all go to sleep in our sleeping bags and he'd go from sleeping bag to sleeping bag and I learned to just flip over on my stomach so he couldn't touch me. Effinger was found guilty of molesting a 14-year-old boy in 1993. He was sentenced to 10 years, but died of cancer in jail in 1996. When you found out that he died in jail, how did you feel? I'm sorry to say, but I was very happy. Is that a struggle for you at all? It is, but what made me smile was now he has to meet his maker. What's he gonna say? How is he going to explain all the people that he's damaged? Hale, now 55 years old, says he's told those closest to him in the past, but never felt like it was something he could address publicly. I was just too afraid. I didn't know what was going to happen. Would they believe me? A German study among sexual assault survivors shows a similar trend. The average age survivors come forward to talk about their abuse is 52 years old. Even now, more than four decades later, Hale says he's still recovering. There's certain things that will trigger a negative response where I'll get edgy or my hands will start sweating or my chest will get heavy, uh, feel anxiety. While the Archdiocese declined an interview for this story, they provided a statement denouncing Effinger's sexual abuse. And they say they are committed to making it right with past victims as well as preventing any more in the future. And Attorney General Josh Call has opened a new investigation into any institutional sexual abuse to see what is being done to prevent this from happening. Having a full review can help uh, the healing process for survivors. Call says they've received over 180 reports from survivors and people with information about abuse. While holding those accountable is one of the top priorities, Call wants to ensure survivors have the resources they need to mend years of abuse they faced. We want to connect survivors uh, who are interested in being connected with victim services professionals um, with those professionals. Hale hopes his speaking up now will give another young person confidence to come forward. They have the courage to do so. Uh, go to a parent, go to a friend. Maybe you have a really good friend that can be with you when you talk to your parents or just whatever situation makes you comfortable to report it, but it's so important to report it. Now, the Attorney General's office says once this process is completed, they'll provide an overview of those findings to try and prevent any future abuse from happening. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher. Now, in case you missed it, you can scan the QR code with your phone to report clergy abuse. You can also watch a more robust version of this story on our website, which is more than 10 minutes long.